I had a smudge. Hang on. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I got people looking at me right now. Hey, Zach, how's it going? All right, so today I got to build a grouper stand for the tank. I'm setting up the whole tank for this video. I got to, uh, oh, I should bring money with me. Huh? Money helps when you're buying stuff. We're good now. Oh, yeah, you know it. You know it. You That's right. <laughs> Jabari, I Jabari. Shout out Jabari. Yeah. <laughs> he knows this up. No, uh, we went to school with him. Oh, really? Yeah, he played baseball. Wait, know? really? Yeah. Are you serious? Jabari Bush. Oh, I didn't know we went to school with him. All right, well, apparently I went to high school with that guy. Shout out to you, Jabari. We're going to go in here. We need some wood for the stand. And then uh, we'll go. Oh, my God. Almost took Zach out. And then we got to, uh, well, what else we need? I already got screws. I got to stop by Augie's and grab my drill and fix a small little leak in that tank, but I won't show you guys that, it's no, no big deal. You want a grill? Yeah. Like, is... like a diamond grill or gold or just like a regular grill? Oh, we can get teeth grills. Too. Yeah, teeth grills, that's where it's at. Oh, see, you got the grill? Yeah. So we got seven two by fours and uh, that's really all we needed. I bought a saw because I gave me an excuse to buy a saw. And then uh, Zach's got our coupling to fix our leaky pipe at Augie's house. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that pipe. Not even gonna bother showing you guys that and then we'll see you guys back at my house. All right, we made it home. Come on, you got it. Yeah, blammo. We also got hibachi. Oh, I think I gotta poop before we get cutting. Hibachi, it just goes right through that white sauce. Just poof, right through, you know? Anyway, I, I wanted to mention the boat because, uh, well, I'm also, I'm cutting my wood right here, but I also wanted to mention this because it's right here. I saw a few comments actually a while back about me going through and like showing you guys the boat and stuff. I've never really talked about like what it is, the year, make, model, anything like that. If that's something you guys are interested in, please leave that in the comments down below and let me know if that's something you'd like to see me do. Uh, if not, I may just do it anyway, just because of those few people who were curious. We're going to, uh, well, I, I gotta go use the old toilet because this is coming quick. And then uh, I'm gonna get to cutting this wood here and then uh, I'll show you guys how I'm building it and everything. I'll cut all the wood first and then explain what I'm doing. And hopefully this thing works like it is in my head, but we'll see. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then we'll cut some wood. Well, we uh, saw a battery died because the battery was only like a quarter charge. That's gonna have to sit and charge for a minute. We got a couple little pieces actually left to cut, not much more. And then I also realized I don't have any more long screws. So I need like a three-ish inch screw, three and a half inch screw. Is I'm gonna have two boards, they're gonna be just like this. So I need a screw that will go through both of them pretty much. And then obviously one will go down in on top as well. I need a screw big enough and the saw's dead. so. We're gonna go pick that up while the saw charges and we'll be back. All right, I got my wood. And we went and got our screws. They're in they're in there, look at that, bam. We got our screws, got the wood. Saw's still charging, so we gotta wait on that part. But I'm just gonna show you guys like what the idea is here. I'm doing 30 inches tall, so this will be the height of it. And then this piece here, the bottom like this, and then I will set another piece on this side so it will uh, kind of hold it there. Or you could go this way and then run this way and then have your piece here whichever way you prefer. I'll get it started in this piece of wood first. Okay, so you get it started as level to the bottom as possible, all the way over. Now you got an L piece looking thing. Over to this side and do kind of the same idea. Now you got an outside piece. The tank is technically a corner tank, but I'm doing a square stand because I'm lazy and I don't feel like cutting extra and being like real precise. It's just, it's not, not worth it. It's gonna be like a little piece showing, not that big of a deal. So there's gonna be another piece of wood that goes in here to support this piece. It'll be a big box pretty much at the end of all this. So I'm gonna make my box. Well, as much as I can make of the box, I think I need, I'm missing one more little tiny cut and then we'll complete the box at the end. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep making this box and then I'll pick up the camera when we're getting close. All 
see, I added a few finishing touches that you guys didn't see. I ran a support beam down these screw lines here, right there, and then I added these guys on top just for a little extra, I don't know, it looks a little better like this. Looks more like a table than it normally does. Some of these came out a little shorter than others, but you know, I'm hoping that the weight up here should support everything and then in here it shouldn't have to uh, be as much of a worry but you never know if i see any issues i can always tinker with it and mess with it but technically with the way the 2x4 should support these probably should never even need to be used it should all be supported up up here up up here uh, up up here i guess so then i just added this i had left over just to clean it up a little bit since it is a curved tank it will kind of leave a little open area so i figured why not make it to where it really never, I don't know, it's not a big hole just sitting in front was kind of what I was thinking. So we're going to carry this thing inside and throw the tank on it. And then uh, I'm going to have to mix up some water. Actually, I'll probably have to go get some water as well. I'll have to mix water and go get water. Then uh, I'll have to get sand while I'm getting water. I will show you guys the filter and the tank itself now. Oh, so right here, this part's pretty sweet. I have no audio, don't know why, but apparently I was looking at the tank. I was showing you guys the tank. That's my phone dinging. And then uh, it's like a 54 gallon to curve tank. I'm moving the stand now. And then like we put the aquarium like up on the stand, you know, it's pretty crazy. And then after that, uh, I start opening the filter up. I'm checking that out. There's a little time lapse of me putting it together. It's all pretty neat. And then the audio comes back. So you guys enjoy. All right. So we got the thing all set up here. It has a weird little like almost like a sprinkler system. So all the water gets pushed out here. I'll probably either raise or lower it a little bit. I don't know, we'll see what it does. It also came with a little skimmer option so you can raise and lower it to whatever height you want. And then uh, you can also raise and lower whatever height you want the intake to be. So I'm also gonna do just a light little bit of sand on the bottom here. Obviously fill it all the way up with water. I'm not doing a background or anything on this. It's not that big of a deal. We got a, I think I've spoiled it a little bit before, but I think we're gonna get another one or two more fish to go with the grouper. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of rocks in here that I already actually have had cycling, cycling, whatever you want to call it, my sump of my reef tank. So no like light or anything, but it's been soaking in the salt water, getting kind of just pushed through water kind of deal. But uh, I also have a bunch of snails that I'll put in here as well that are just in the reef tank that I actually have put in the sump before. Uh, and they kind of clean up the sump a little bit along with they're also cleaning inside the tank, but they also knock my coral down. So I'm gonna pull them out. And then once the grouper's out, I'm actually gonna replace it with gobies and stuff like that, stuff that will actually keep the tank clean. This is all set up, canister is down there. I guess I overestimated a little bit on the stand. It's a little big out here. I mean, I guess I could have done it where it was a little more in to where just the little corner stuck out. Not a big deal, we can use it to set stuff on or whatnot. Or I could always pull the tank up a little bit and then use the back as like a shelf. We'll see. I'll move it around a little bit, see what I like, what I don't like. So I'm going to go ahead and start mixing some salt water. Actually out here, let me show you. My big old jug over here is actually full of water. Look at that. So I'm actually just going to mix this. This is roughly 30 gallons. So I'll put a little less than 30 gallons of salt in here. And then uh, I'll go take all my jugs. I have five or six, or I have six of these, and then go pick up uh, more RO water, mix some more salt, and then pour it in the tank in there. It is a 54 gallon tank, just for anyone who's curious. I'm gonna try and not overcrowd it with rocks because I know he likes to be out and moving around, and I wanna be able to see him and enjoy him because he's a beautiful fish. So I'm gonna go ahead, start mixing water in this big old buddy here, and then I'm gonna use my little fancy pump here, and it will suck all the water from in there. Actually, no, I won't. I'll use the pump that's already wired through and into it to uh, go ahead and dump all the water in that tank. Salt water's all mixed up, put the lid back on it because, uh, well, I didn't want to spill it from rolling it around the corner here. And I put a wave maker in there to help mix it up. You can see the magnet down there. But I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. I already got the tube set up right here. So it's just gonna pour itself right in there. I'm gonna pour all 30 of these gallons into there for now. Run, grab some sand, some more water, finish the rest off, add my rocks and stuff like that that I want to add, and then it should be good. We'll let it cycle, and then I'll make another video, or at least part of a video, moving the grouper into this tank and adding uh, a couple other animals. So let's get started with the filling of this. Let's go ahead and oh, flip it, plug it in, and look at that. We're filling up. There it goes. Alrighty, so... This will probably take a little bit. We got 30 gallons to dump in here, so hopefully this goes smooth. All right, so I filled up as much as I could. 
I added a little flow maker in here, and then I'm actually going to, uh, I'd like to turn on the skimmer. Well, well, skimmer, there is a skimmer, but the actual flow and the pump and everything itself, just to help start cycling it, make sure the filter and everything works properly. But the plug I need is back over here, and it's over there. So I think I'm gonna have to get like a little extension cord real quick and uh, try and plug it in and see what happens. It's the next day. So I ended up, as you guys saw, put the sand in, I added some more water, and I added some rocks. And there was no point showing you guys it because you couldn't see anything in it. I did realize I need more rocks, and I, I still need a light, but I'm getting the light that is on the 200 gallon that we put up there for temporary reasons. Just because I couldn't find a light for that tank, and I wanted to be able to see in that tank while we escape it and add everything to it. So... While that light is over there, once we get a new light for it, that light will then come back over here. And I guess it's time to show you. I, I don't know. I was trying to keep it like a secret, but boom! Look at that bad boy. I have a little panel light shining into it so we can see into it better. But look at how good this is actually turning out. It has a little bit of a weird effect. It's probably going to make my grouper look like he's in like one of the Funhouse Carnival mirrors. That's okay. We don't have nothing wrong with that. So it gives it actually a lot more depth than this tank actually has. Like it makes it look like it's huge. Like it's really cool. I added this little flow maker in here. Actually, hang on. Let me fix my little, my, my cord here. Oh yeah, there we go. My OCD was killing me there. And uh, this filter is actually really, really cool. Uh, it has a little skimmer here if you want it. You can kind of pick it up and it'll suck air in. Or you, it, 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 it floats. It's on a little float here. So it levels itself out with the water. This I has a bunch of the holes in it like a sprinkler. I set it up so it gets a little more surface agitation going and it's cleaned up the top pretty, pretty good. I think it's gonna be a really, really cool tank. As I was saying before, I'm gonna add another rock either going across here or maybe one in the back of there and then one up front. I don't know, but I would like there to be not as much structure and more free open area for the grouper to swim around because he's a beautiful fish. I wanna see him, I wanna be there to look at them, you know? That is pretty much my end goal for this tank. But for today, this is gonna be it. I think I'm gonna decide on making a new stand. And then this stand is gonna actually be a new stand for my man, Kevin, over there. Cause he's getting a little too big for the tank he's in. He just swims back and forth, up and down all day long. He's waiting for a new house and he's gonna get himself a new house. So that will actually free up this tank. So if you guys wanna see something done with that tank, we gladly can do so. For now, this is gonna be what this tank is gonna be on. And uh, we'll probably lower it to about 50% water when we wanna change everything around. Lower the water, get uh, some glass suction cups, lift this baby up, pull this stand out, slide a new one in, and it should be easy peasy. I think I'm actually gonna do a stand that actually is round. This was just my lazy out because I want to get this tank ready. I've had this tank for like months. I've been sitting on it for like two, three months or something like that, along with the filter. Everything's been waiting for it. I just haven't had a, uh, a stand, not thinking that like, oh yeah, hey, just go buy two by fours and build one. So this was my little cheap way of getting around waiting on a stand and stuff, but the sand is solid. It is rock solid. As you guys can see, it's going to hold this. It doesn't wobble or anything. Obviously you can shake it a little bit and it ripples the water just like any other fish tank stand. So if you guys do like this stand idea, please let me know if you guys end up using it below. And uh, other than that, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. This is the tank. It's going to be cycling for the next couple weeks. And then uh, we're going to move Mr. Grouper on over. I want to get him another fish buddy. And then we have another surprise animal uh, that's going to actually end up in this tank. So potentially. Not too sure yet, but potentially. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or any input on what I should do with this tank other than Mr. Grouper or Rockwise, Scape, anything like that, please leave it in the comment section down below. I thank you guys so, so much. Like the video, comment, subscribe, do all those fun things, and I'll uh, see you later.